Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today I'll be tying a little emerger pattern. Uh, this one is uh, thanks to uh, a gentleman by the name of Sun Tao. He's another uh, Zebra Fly Pro Team uh, member. He's a great tire. Check him out on Instagram, Sun Tao, T-A-O, I think it is. Um, I'll put a, a, a link to, in the description um, to his stuff. Uh, great little tire. I mean, like, I mean, he makes the ties some amazing stuff. So this is one of his patterns that I thought was really cool, and I wanted to show it off because I think it's really good for those people that are having problems like myself. I hate tying parachutes. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my clunky hands. I don't know, but I don't do well with parachutes. So this is a, uh, a poor man version of a parachute, kind of. So. Alrighty, so let's get it going. So, um, I got a big hook in today. Uh, it's a size 8 BL550. Just so you guys can see how I do it. Uh, you can tie this all the way down to a size 14, uh, even a 16. So I'm just going to start my Zemperfly Nano Silk. It's uh, I've got it in white, 12 watt white. I just want white because it's a neutral color. Right? I don't have to worry about anything showing through or whatever because it's, it's nice and light. So I'm just going to get that tied all the way back around this bend here. And then I'm going to come back to about there. And that's where about where my thorax area is going to be, right? So now I'm going to take two pieces of moose mane. This is my uh, personal uh, harvested moose mane from here in Alberta. Um, so yeah, so this is just, uh, just moose mane. I'm going to take one that's white and one that's dark. I'm just going to tie it in by the tips, right here, loosely. Don't tighten down too, too much because this nano silk will cut it. You just got to be careful. And then just bring it back to, again, about where that thorax is going to be. You can rip those off. You can cut them off, whatever you like. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now, what you want to make sure you do is keep these as tight together as you can. So it creates a single body. It doesn't have space in between. If it's got a little bit of space, it's not a huge deal because you've got that white background, right? And just be careful of your hook tip here. You gotta just take it easy. Make sure you don't get caught in that hook tip, right? And then just bring this forward all the way, touch and wrap so the white is touching the previous black or dark brown, whatever all the way up to about where the thorax is going to be. If you go a little bit further, that's fine. It's not a big deal if you end up covering it. So and then just tie that off. And again, because this is a, a deer hair product, moose mane in this case, um, it's going to be a little on the brittle side, right? And it does get damaged. So what I end up doing here is I end up, uh, before I go any further, is I put a little bit of UV resin on the body just to strengthen this up so you don't have a a worry that that you know first fish is going to rip this uh, moose mane apart when it hits it, its teeth hit it right so this just it will help strengthen it a bit um, now it does add that ever so ever so ever so little tiny little layer of weight but it's so little I don't concern myself with it. Um, and especially because I'm going to be using uh, a lot of deer hair in the front and I'm going to be using Zemperfly's Kapok dubbing, which floats forever in a day. So it'll kind of, it won't really do much. Now, I do want the body to sink into the water a little bit, right? So, okay, once that's nice and yep, dry, so it's not sticky anymore, you can uh, go on to the next stage. So the next stage is getting a little piece of, uh, this is just natural deer hair patch. Okay, now use whatever you've got. I've already got a piece of some in my stacker. Just get those tips stacked. It's not a ton. It's only, you know, just make sure all that fluff is out of there. My garbage here. Make sure that fluff is out of there. Then I'm going to transfer it to other hand just so it's facing the right way. I think that's too long. So I want this facing forward. And I want it about about the length of the thorax past the eye. So about like that, give or take. 
and I'm not going to crank this down too tight. I don't want this too tight. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, um, flare this all the way around the uh, the hook. Right. I want to keep it up on top as much as I can. It really, if it flares around, it's not a big deal. If it spins, so now I can come back to where I stop tying in that body. Just make sure that's tied down really well. Cut off my butts. Well, my butts are off. Okay, so now I'm just going to go around, just clean this up a bit. It's going to get all covered, so it doesn't really matter, but I, just for my own sake, I like having it cleaned up, the butts here. Okay, so I'm just going to go back over, make sure my thread is flattened, just so it covers more and just get those butts tied down nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to get all this stuff up, go in front of it, build up a little bit in front, and then as I hold it up, I'm gonna do almost like a parachute here now, right? I'm wrapping around, but you just don't have to work it all the way up. All you're doing is you're gonna just wrap it a little bit, just so it helps keep this up as almost like a parapost, right? And then go in front of it again, and a little bit behind it, and that's good enough for now. Okay, so now I'm going to take this uh, cap lock dubbing from Zemperfly. You come in these little kits. So this is the full selection kit, right? You've got uh, all these different colors to pick from. I'm going to go with a kind of a uh, an olive green here. Actually, I'll go with the blue winged olive green they call it, and I'm going to dub that on. Now, I don't want to dub it too thick. But this dubbing really dubs on really well and it actually dubs on really, really thin. So that's the nice thing with this stuff. So I'm just going to start, try to keep that, get the cap lock dubbing off my finger, keep that out of the way. Start right there behind that where I stopped with the uh, body. Nice and tight. Okay, a little bit more. As you guys, if you guys watch my any of my other videos, I I tend to dub a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I don't like having too much and then having to pull it off. So I'd rather just dub a little at a time. And for video reasons, it might not be the best, but it takes everything takes a little longer. But I just just the way I like it. I like uh, being able to control my dubbing that way. So now I'm going to lift this up and I go right in front of it with my dubbing, right in front, create that little ball. Okay, and a little bit more dubbing. And a little bit more. And if you want a little bit of sparkle to it or whatever, I like uh, I've got a few that I tied with um, uh, that Hens uh, um, Hairs Plus. It's got a little bit of sparkle and stuff in it. So I just like looking underneath there just to make sure that it's all covered, which in this case it's not. So I'm gonna take a little bit more, dub that on, and then I'm gonna actually go and just crisscross in between there. Okay, make sure that looking not too bad. I got one little deer hair stuck there, so I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay, so now, it's going to just build up just a little tad of a head. If you want to, you can paint this the thread black or green or whatever color you want. Again, I don't usually worry about it. This white, it's just uh, doesn't really get seen. So, another one. Okay, so now this is the little trick that I thought was so cool. Um, and I've seen it before, but not quite like this. So. So now, to make this into like a parachute, you just take your finger and you kind of just get in there and you just kind of spread those deer hairs apart and flatten them right down. Just flatten them right down. Get them right flat. And once they're nice and flat, you're really squishing this really well. Okay, you almost want it to go past. Okay, nicely squished. And you're going to take a little drop of UV resin and put it right in the top. That's it. Boom, 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 that's it. Nice, tiny little drop, wham. 
guess what? You just made yourself a kind of a full par a parachute. Now I do have a butt in there I just saw. So there's a few little butts in there, but that's okay. It can always be pulled out if you need to. I, I, I would just leave them. The other way I've done this one as well is instead of dubbing there, I use a CDC. So now that's it. It's uh, got a little, it's, that is a little bit of a big dab of resin. I usually don't use that much. It just came out a little bit. So um, like here's another one that I just did. You can see the resin is not that much. It's just a little bit to get into in between. And that's it. I'll try to turn this over so you guys can see it from the bottom side, what the fish would see. I'm just going to move that a little closer. There you go. So that's, that's how it would be floating in the water, right? And it's just going to float like about like that right and the, the from the uh, the hairs down it's going to be under the water right and that's it it's just a, like I said it's a simple little emerger pattern you can use whatever you want for the thorax this is obviously tied fairly large but you can use whatever you want for the thorax you can use uh, um, uh, like a cap like this or this is the uh, hens uh, uh, hairs ear plus see it's got a little bit of that shine in it a little sparkle here and there um, so yeah it all depends what kind of effect you want and you can make this bigger or smaller depending on how much deer hair you let pass. But like I said, usually what I like doing is the size of my thorax past my eye. That gives me a, a just a rough, uh, um, a, a rough idea of how, how much deer hair I need. So, yeah. Put a little bit of floatant on that and that's going to float all day. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, thumbs up. And if you've uh, subscribed, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. We reached 1,500 members, so I'm going to be giving away. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be on this video or the next one. We'll let you guys know, but I'm um, going to be giving away uh, a copy of the Osprey uh, um, Fly Patterns book. Um, so, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Tiny lines. <laughs>